Hey everyone, DMV Solar Rider here. Sorry for the audio overlay, but the other day I had to change my schedule and I was able to get to a demo day at Indiana Fredericksburg at the last minute. Off I went, having given zero thought to how to present my rides, basic info and specs about the 2020 bikes and all of that. So I'm just going to share my rides with you. I'll mix in some basic specs and pretty pictures for each bike from Indian's website, where you can go yourself for more detailed info. Mostly I'm just going to share how each ride felt to me. Just keep in mind I've only been riding for a year with about 13,000 miles under my belt, 5,600 of them on a 2019 Indian Scout, and 7,500 on a 2019 Indian Chieftain Dark Horse. Hope these are helpful. If you're curious about these bikes, ride safe. is the 2020 Indian Scout Bobber. I have never ridden a Scout Bobber. I'm excited to see how it feels. In terms of power, it's the same as the Scout just about. I'll put all the stouts up on the screen so you can check it out. I'm interested in this lower riding position. It's a little lower than the Scout. Handlebars are far more aggressively forward, totally. So let's see. Here's what they say about the Scout Bomber. Powered by liquid cooled 69 CI, whatever the CI even means. V twin engine, 100 horsepower, 72 foot pounds of torque. Same thing as the Scout, six speed, electronic fuel injection, bobber styling, strip down, chopped fenders, Let's look at this baby, I like it in white, Pathfinder headlight, looks like it's got an Indian pipe on there, let's see what it is. Stage one, two into one, fuel exhaust system, performance air intake, Pathfinder headlight, rider comfort seat, solo luggage rack. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. All right, so this is very foot forward. This is just the it's got an exhaust, it's got a comfort seat, which is really comfy compared to the old stock Scout seat. I mean, it feels, to me, it doesn't feel that much different than my old Scout in terms of height off the, off the ground. I mean, it's so nice to flat foot a bike comfortably with plenty of bend in your knees. I mean, that's me. Got a, quite a bit of heat off this two-in-one exhaust. Yeah, like, as much as I love this motorcycle, again, I could never ride this all day. It's too far forward, my neck would be just killing me. I mean, what is it, the rider triangle? This is all triangle. I am hunched over like a hunchback. This wouldn't even be comfortable to me riding in the city, just popping around. Bow, lightweight. This comfort seat is seriously comfortable. Any of you have a bobber and you haven't gotten that seat, go for it. But unlike the Scout 60, this is a six speed because it's a full size Scout, just chopped. Yeah. 
yeah, I gotta be honest, the FTR riding position is more comfortable than this. <laughs> I mean, you're just, you're leaning all the way forward with your feet forward. Like, that makes no sense. miss the feel of this engine I'll tell you that much immediate torque immediate power yeah that riding position just makes no sense to me I miss looking down and seeing a big wide scout tank Love that. Don't trust this guy. Yeah, baby. <laughs> That's my scout. I love it. Hate the seating position. Love, love, love this engine. And man, does this bike feel light. So light. Light as a feather. And it's just crazy to me that my Scout felt heavy as anything when I first started riding. I feel that Scout heat on the back right calf above that two-in-one exhaust, that's for sure. Come on, buddy. You're too slow, bro. sounding engine. I don't want to get in trouble. Actually riding the road glide? What what is the point of that? <laughs> yeah, trust me bro, you're not gonna beat me on a chieftain. <laughs> I know a thing or two about that. It's a beautiful, beautiful, comfortable bike, but it ain't got this kind of horsepower. 
pickup. feel some vibration in the handlebars, the grips, but nothing you wouldn't expect or find inappropriate, I would say. <laughs> Listen to me like, like I've ridden a bunch of motorcycles, but no. You know, now that this is the first time I've ridden a Scout in a long time, there is nothing about this motorcycle that makes it inappropriate for a first bike. I mean, it's a very gentle throttle. As long as you don't gas it, you know, you don't whiskey throttle, that is totally cool. I'm so glad that I bought my Scout instead of getting like a Honda Rebel or something like that. That would have been a shame. Because I'd have gone through that bike in like a minute. stuck between the shifter and the peg. It's so annoying. Popped it right into neutral. I'll tell you, it is nuts to me how quickly I got used to uh, floorboards. I mean, I put the floorboards on my Scout probably two months after I got it. And these pegs are just terrible. I just can't feel where the heck to put my feet. That sounds really nice. Really nice. I'll tell you what's so different about a Scout is this is idling at 11, 11.50 RPMs. My Chieftain will idle at like 800. And when you first get it going, it's like, you know, is it gonna stay on? <laughs> this baby never has that trouble. Now, I think the bobber looks great. Blacked out dial, blacked out everything. I like the bar end mirrors. I don't know what the protocol is here like I feel like I'm going too fast because everyone's just kind of chilling <laughs> I got more bikes to ride I can't get kicked out yet
nice ride. Seating position is not something that, I mean, even if my neck was fine, I would not want to sit like this all day long. It would not work. Like, I don't get, like, okay, so make it a bobber. Why does it have to be such a severe forward lean? It's not a sport bike. And if you're going to make it a forward lean like this, why don't you give it mid controls or rear controls, whatever? Just don't get that. But it's fun. All right, next up. <laughs> 